what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We got a father who tried to use the Kirk Franklin method on his son. Didn't work out well for him. Fam, we got a situation where a guy is trying to impress upon his son that you don't talk to me that way. This is my house. Watch how you talk to me. And he put hands on him and then told him he was going to finish him. The whole while, the kid's older brother is lurking in another room with a gun and he's live. He's on live. Got his phone recording the whole thing. He walks in moments later and start shooting. I counted three shots. They say two of them. Two of them hit him in the chest. And he's now in an area hospital. Now, fam, He didn't just tell him, watch how you talk to me. I'm going to do a short reenactment. Excuse my French and pardon my vernacular. Watch how you talk to me, bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, watch how you talk to me. Yeah, I'm going to finish you. You in my house. Nigga, bitch ass nigga. Man, I've heard some people try to defend the father by saying, well, we don't know why he was saying what he said. That should not be ever a situation where the child that you raised in your house provokes you to use that type of language toward them. If that happens, you must take responsibility for the role you played prior to whatever led up to that exact moment. See, I see too often that many of us, we just really don't have good coping skills. We don't, good, we don't have good parenting skills. We don't have good communication skills. This is why oftentimes you hear people saying, wait, wait to have sex. Not wait to have sex because sex is something bad. Sex is an enjoyable thing for most people. It's a natural thing for most people. But they tell you to wait because the longer you wait, in most cases, the more patience you're going to have and the more you're going to be able to handle the consequences that come with that. Teen pregnancy or just early pregnancy period. Disease. Um, taking care of babies. Rejection. Cheating. All of these things, the older you get, usually the more mature your mind is and you can deal with these things better, right? Oftentimes you're in a better financial position the older you are to take care of the babies that you bring into the world so you don't bring them into the world at a social disadvantage. This is why people will tell you, wait, and then there's another category where people should not have children at all. Some people just don't know how to act in a civilized society. They can't even control their own emotions by themselves. Now, you want to put a child into the world and have them to look out for a child? Many of them aren't, aren't good at solving their own problems. Now you're going to put a child into the picture, bring a child into the picture, and, and 
ask them to solve that child's problem. They can't take care of themselves. You want them to take care of a baby? They can't provide proper counseling and guidance for themselves. You want them to counsel and guide a child? They don't have the skills. They're unqualified. But here we are. I will impress upon you this, fam. I know raising children are hard. Sometimes you get, some people get, the, are the best parents and they end up with the worst kids. I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. But we don't have the luxury as parents to drop the ball. We don't get to rent. We don't get to go off on a tyrant, right? We don't get to injure our children's self-esteem. And then all of a sudden we want to have respect, but we didn't give respect. I operate under the belief that every single human being on this planet planted that I come in contact with will get my respect initially unless they do something to forfeit that respect. Now, in regards to my children, the ones that I brought into this world, I have them from day one. I would feel less of a man, less of a father, if I allowed some rapper, a friend, or anybody to come into the picture and tear down what I've built up in them. I have to be calculating with how I treat my children, how I talk to them at all times. I don't get to just cuss them out because this is how I feel. I have to calm my ass down, count to 10, count to 30, count to 1,000, whatever. Walk away, step away from it. And, and I have to discipline out of love and not anger. A lot of us discipline out of anger. That's what he was doing. He was angry at his son. So he was calling them all kinds of names, cussing them out, and he was putting his hands on them like some dude out in the streets. Now, fam, how do you expect your child to believe you when you say, this is your home, I want you to trust me, I'm gonna protect you. The people out there, you can't trust them, don't trust strangers. But trust me, but I'm one of the main people that are trying to instill fear in you. I'm one of the main people that you fear. I'm one of the main people that is bringing harm to you. I'm probably causing you more harm than people out on the streets are. That's why a lot of kids end up in the streets because they feel like they can get love in the streets that they can't get at home. Now, I'm not talking about the small brats who want everything their way and mom and daddy don't do what they're supposed to be doing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the rest. There are a whole lot of kids who get mistreated at home and they end up in them streets. So, I tend to take the kid's side in most cases because I, I understand kids very well and I was one of those kids and I I just know how to I know how to deal with kids. I know as one of the people, one of the kids who most people consider to be a bad kid, I know what worked for me, what made me tick. And if it is true that I was one of those bad kids, which I ain't got no problem admitting that I was, I just wasn't heartless. I wasn't an evil kid. Okay, I was bad, but I wasn't evil. And so 
I could identify when somebody was doing for me, when somebody, when I felt like somebody loved me and they cared about me. I did not treat those kind of people bad. I didn't take that for granted because where I'm from, uh, there's uh, oftentimes uh, a love drought, so to speak. So I appreciate it when somebody showed me love. I always try to show them love back and respect them and try to protect them if I could. I think a lot of these parents don't have proper parenting skills and they just pop off, they just go off. And I've heard many parents call their daughters bitches, hoes, calling their son all kinds of names, bitches, hoes, motherfucker, this, that, I kick your ass. Do you understand how that sounds to a child? I'll kick your ass. Some parents think that being a parent means they're the boss. Some parents think that being a parent means that they are actually a slave owner, a master. They have that overseer type mentality. It's my house. I'm the boss. I pay for everything. You don't like it. Get out. When I was growing up, there used to be a commercial called Kids Are People Too. And that commercial uh, illustrated how kids have feelings and that how grown-ups should take those feelings into account when they are dealing with children. Oftentimes, people just look at kids like objects, pawns, to, to be moved around and to, to be handled however they see fit. Some, a lot of times people look at kids like little slaves, little miniature slaves, like do as I say, do what I want you to do, go get this, do this, do this, do this, do that. And they talk to them all kinds of ways. These people are not qualified to have children. Now, dude, I don't know his story, but I know at the minimum he need counseling. Maybe he do love his son. I don't know. But I know in that moment, that didn't sound like love to me. So that could be confusing to a child. If you say I, you, you love him and then you say, I'll kick your ass. Uh, people don't kick the ass of people that they love. That's, that's, that comes from being unlearned. And then whoever that woman was that was screaming in the background, I got a problem with that because she wasn't screaming when the daddy was beating up the boy. She wasn't screaming when he was kicking the boy's ass. She wasn't saying anything when he was cussing them out, calling them bitches. She wasn't screaming at all. Then the older boy opens fire on him. Now she's screaming, you shot him, you shot him, oh Lord, ah. Now, keep that same energy. Now, What's cold is to just see one father who talks down to his son the way that dude did. And then to see another son shoot him. And after he shoot him, the boy attack him after he'd been shot, kicking him, stomping him, beating on him. That is beyond dysfunctional. They need help immediately. All of them, including the woman. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?